Okay, so we've talked a little bit about the educational broad opportunities that exist at the college, and we hope that you'll consider those. And, you know, we try really hard to make as many resources available to you so that you can pursue these opportunities. We are working to increase, you know, financial resources, to expand program options, and we're very conscientious about cost. That is one of the huge obstacles. So we, we, we want you to know that one, your financial aid can be used for education abroad. A lot of students are unaware of that. And we're looking at programs that are going to, in some cases, cost the same amount as it would for you to attend Glendale in the standard semester. No, we're not looking to find a program that's gonna expect you to pay twice what you're currently paying, okay? Um, so despite the fact that we encourage you to think about this, we understand that there are a number of obstacles, not just cost, there are other obstacles as well. And actually, nationally, what we know to be true is that just 10% of U.S. undergraduates have an education abroad experience before they graduate. So that means 90% of U.S. students do not go abroad. And as educators, what we need to be very conscientious of is how then to deliver a global learning experience to the 90% of the students who can't study abroad. And here at the college, we're responding to that how by uh, instituting and working on developing a program that is called the Collaborative Online International Learning Program. That's a mouthful, so we shorten it to COIL, and you may hear students talk about COIL classes, COIL program, COILed modules, okay? And basically what they're talking about is a virtual exchange program. So we link students here at Gunvo with students at universities in other parts of the world. The students work together collaboratively on academic class projects. And this collaborative work usually takes place in the period of four to six weeks of the semester. The coiled classes right now that we offer are in social sciences, in language and literature, and computer science. We'll be introducing a new COIL in business this fall, and we've had a previous COIL in land resources as well. You might be surprised to actually discover that in the last two years, 165 Lenville State College students have participated in a COIL program. They find it to be rewarding, educational, and hugely helpful in terms of developing skills that'll be useful to them when they move into um, the workforce. So the COIL partners that we're currently working with are in, we've got several partners in Mexico, in a city called Puebla. We're also working with the university in Northern Spain, in Oviedo, and we're working with another university in Malaysia. So we have partnerships in Spain, Malaysia, and Mexico, and in time we'll be looking to expand into other countries, but for now we have solid relationships with those institutions. And so you might have the opportunity, and hopefully you look for this opportunity, to say spend one semester here working with students in Spain, another semester with the students in Mexico, and then for a very different experience in terms of culture, uh, a semester working with the students in Malaysia. So the COIL program is one that I also want you to learn more about to um, ask questions about. So come see me, ask professors who have coiled, ask students who have coiled to tell you a little bit about what that experience was like. Um, you have, uh, there will soon be on the website, it isn't quite ready yet, but there will soon be a, a section of the website dedicated to coil as well. And that will be a place in the future you can turn to to get questions uh, answered. So I hope that gives you at least a sense of what COIL is, how it works, and how you might uh, figure out a way to COIL uh, if you can't figure out a way to study abroad. But one last comment, what we've already seen happen here at the college is that COIL actually sometimes can lead to study abroad. And we had a student who spent the last semester of her senior year in Oviedo, Spain. The only reason she went to Oviedo, Spain instead of going to Barcelona or Madrid or another major Spanish city was because 
she had coiled with students prior to her education abroad. And when she landed in Oviedo, Spain, she already had friends on Facebook. She already knew a lot about the city. She already knew a lot about the culture in Northern Spain. And that was largely due to her coil experience. So perhaps you can work out both like she did. Uh, perhaps it's one or the other, but either way, we want you to know that we're gonna help you and encourage you to look into these options.